We're here with a 60-year-old who has a neutral vector orbit, and uh, she has a really deep adherent tear trough right here. It's where the orbicularis muscles deeply adherent to the uh, infraorbital rim. And uh, I've already put some wetting solution in here. We'd love to put some fat in here, but the fat is going to bulge below and above this line because of this deep adherence. And so what we're going to do is we're going to do a periosteal elevator and divide the orbicularis retaining ligament so then we can put some fat in there. If we uh, are successful in doing that, we'll get great lid support, good fill of the mid face without risking any atropion in the 60-year-old.